Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. Today we're back with TGC 2019. I have had a lot of coverage so far on the channel on TGC, but I've had a lot of interaction with people looking to see things. Now, a few of the courses that I covered were par threes. A lot of people saying, hey, I wanna see more of those par threes, that's really cool. So I dug in a little bit, I found one that I liked. Uh, it's called Par Three The Sands. Uh, obviously the first hole kind of grabs your attention with the waterfalls, the rocks, uphill shot. Uh, very, very cool. I think the par threes really, uh, you know, hit home with people because of the family and the kids and, you know, making it easy. You have friends over that aren't into golf and you can go out and play the par threes and not worry about crushing a drive. Um, so it makes sense. Um, that's one thing I enjoy about TGC is the volume of courses that are out there. Yes, um, some may not be, you know, perfect design and, you know, they might be more generic courses, but a lot of them are either a LIDAR course that is well known that you want to play or what I like to call like fantasy courses that are a ton of fun that look really cool. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of this, the sands, okay? I have a 50 degree wedge because it's 114, seven feet uphill. Hopefully, oh, that's a little left. How was that impact? Oh, a little off the toe. I'm going to get really lucky with that. Look at this. That wasn't intentional, but I'll tell you what, that played out nice. all right. on the green. That ball was struck towards the toe and uh, went quite left. Here we go for your birdie. See if I can get that corrected because that was a little bit of a mess. Now I'm going to aim right here. Ooh, this is kind of a wicked green. Eight feet. Might even aim just a tad right manually inside the sim. There we go. Yes. That's a birdie. I'll take that to start. I tell you what, though, that was kind of a members bounce left there. Okay, well, I'll, uh, the I'll take it. Yeah, so I've, I've had a lot of fun, uh, you know, recently covering nice the Unicorn systems. If you guys hole, haven't seen the see IXO videos uh, that I just released, that's their latest hardware that mounts three and a half feet in front of the ball. Um, just kind of getting going with that, showing uh, a bunch of different things. Uh, it's pretty advanced technology. All right, 134, 11 feet downhill. They're getting the integration all set with the third parties. And so that's why I'm back on the QED right now. Um, 11 feet downhill. It's like, do I go after a pitching wedge or hit a light nine? I think I'm going to hit a light nine. I can chop a little bit off this and not worry about, you know, getting it there. A little left again, get an okay bounce. <laughs> That's gonna roll around the back. Look at that, look at that nice. club face though. I'm, I'm still a mess, I need to get adjusted here. Um, I mean, that thing was just way off the toe again if you look at that, not all right, this a good ball at all. The all right, well, what do I really see here, is there I mean, that was a very poor strike. Look at that thing. I mean, that's just flat. It may be crazy over here, but I'm just going 20 foot straight putt. Well, it has a chance. All right. It's nicely done dropping it. Birdie, birdie. I'll take that. Not, a, not really an easy course with all this green elevation I mean, it does okay, it did, does kind of it's two under par now I'm forgiving definitely. you know it kind of rolls back towards the green so that that's cool third hole coming up i'll check Take this your best shot i haven't uh played much of this course i looked at the first hole i played the first hole looked at the second hole and did some previews um so i mean this is really cool being able to show it to you guys stuff like this i think is awesome i mean i love it island they've got the lighthouse out there a bunch of water I love the palm trees, 158, 13 feet downhill. So I'm going to play an eight, but I shouldn't really have to, you know, crush this thing.
I hit that fat. That was behind the ball. Not a great strike. Oh, look at this. I mean, that is, that is luck right there because that was not the shot that I intended. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm not striking my irons that great right now. And it's working out for me. <laughs> Nine footer here. It's I think, working out. I, think I mean, that, uh, that landed way short, rolled up there. I mean, I, ch I was chopping off an eight, um, just trying to do a smooth swing and, uh, didn't strike the ball well at all. It's kind of thin, thin fat to win. 11 feet. Ooh, we're going right at the hole here. That was nice. a little hard. I was lucky that I had that line on. So we're birdie, birdie, birdie? Man. I'm kind of getting right, away with stuff here. Three under after that one. Three under. Okay, let's tee up another one. We got hole what number we have four. going on here? Oh, cool. Out towards, you don't want to go long on this. 102. So maybe like a light 54. I'll try not to go too crazy. Hope that's not too much. No. All right. Get some spin. Woo. This ball, I'm telling okay, you right now, this three-piece ball, what was the spin on that? 10,280. I mean, you get some spin this one for birdie. out of this three-piece ball. Uh, look at the video if you're interested in buying them. They're called Urethane Unicorns. There's a website. Uh, I did a whole video on it. Check out the other video. I give you the information and everything, and uh, the website's in the video. Now, this is tough. I mean, look at that break. I think I'm going to aim way over here. Not really try to crush it. That was a lot of break. I had a birdie chance. You know, if I would have hit that a little harder, I probably would have went in. I hit that really light because I knew it was going to break a lot and I wanted it to break towards the hole. Three under for the round. And it wasn't enough. Hey, I'm still three under. Nothing wrong with that. All right, should okay, we play one more? What do we got green. here? Oh, 214. Oh, come on. I can't even make it there. With an iron? I mean, I think I would hit it like a... Well, it's 26 feet downhill, though. All right. I'll try it. Let's see what we can do. It says wood. At least change it to a 5 iron. All right. That was really thin, really left. <laughs> that was not a good shot at all. How was the impact on that? Was it? Yeah, just thin. It wasn't that bad. I mean, look at it. I was actually kind of square. I just didn't stay into the ball. Um, man, I really haven't struck my irons well at all this round. I mean, this is, uh, I need to get, get down here and start grinding. It's funny because I've been doing decent with my irons. Not as good as my driver. I actually have my driver doing a little better now. Um, and my irons are just off. But hey, you know what? Still a good demonstration for you guys to check out the sands. 39 yards. Light rough, so it's going to take a little bit off. Should be able to get some spin on this. All right, roll in there. Oh, a spin. You know, I really should have hit that a little further. How was that impact? No? Oh. Oh. Way on the okay, toe. That go. makes this sense. It felt like car. it was a little on the toe, but uh, that was way on the toe. I've been hitting them on the toe today. I need to check my setup. Definitely hitting them on the toe. I mean that that was that was pretty bad looking at that ball there. Jeez, 
I mean, is that even enough with that break? 20 feet, because it's three inches uphill. I'll aim a little left in here. I mean, it was a good putt. It just uh, needed a little more, honestly. It needed a little more. It slowed down, broke under the hole. And after that one, scorecard says two under par. Yeah, that's going to happen. Hey, birdie, birdie, birdie to start. Well, uh, just with that. letting you know it's a bit windy out there, so keep that in mind as you go on to the tee. Well, John, according to you, it's windy, but it says zero miles per hour, so a little bit of a, an error there on the announcer's part. Let's see if we can get a fishing wedge there. You know, I wasn't going to play a ton of holes because I just wanted to show a little bit so you guys would, you know, go out and play it yourself. Um, but fun course and, you know, really cool looking. So let's let's play one more here. Oh, it's not drawn, though. It wasn't terrible, but yeah, that really wasn't that bad of a shot. I just uh, didn't swing after it and probably should have. I planned on, you know, hitting a nice crisp shot and I, I was thinking it would draw around a little bit. So I could putt this. You can change to your putter and putt off the fringe or you can ship it. Um, let's see here. So, thir so 33 feet is what it tells you. And you can see it's breaking left to right. I'm going to putt it. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to aim a little left in here as well. Oh, aim a little left. Should have aimed more left than that. I don't think that's a gimme. Uh oh. Are we giving up all of our birdies? I think we are. You managed uh, to bring things down to two no, hundred after that. That was one. a gimme. All right. Thought that was just outside. I was. I just should have right, looked. Nice clean swing and drop right, it on the more. green. One more. How can you not play this hole? Look at the little like cabanas down there. On the beach, 87 yards, but it's 17 feet uphill. So I would play a 58 here, but I think I'd rather play like a, a you know, kind of chopped off smooth 54. Make sure I get it there because it's uphill. Someone's going to oh, need to bite. too much. <laughs> That was my own fault. That was nice. my own fault. Way to stick the green. And we have a 27 footer from here to the cup. Breaking just a little right to the left. So something like that, maybe. Oh, yeah, I misread these these breaks often. That was, uh, I don't think I would have made it there, but I got it inside. That was my par. What am I still, two under? It's not that bad. And after not that, a hard well, you'll course. Bring your score down to two under. Fun course. We'll take a look at this next hole. See if you can stick this bad boy close. 161. I'm going to let you guys figure the rest out and Look at that. It, it, it's just a lot of, you know, all these courses make it fun. You know, if you're getting groups together, you're getting friends over, you're getting kids, whatever it may be, in the simulator, you got to check out the par threes inside TGC 2019. This has been another demonstration. This is par three, the sands. So right there, search for that. You'll find it. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Uh, any questions, make sure you put them in the comments below. I love answering them. It uh, doesn't matter what hardware it's about, simulator questions, software questions. Um, I love getting to them, um, you know, and I always try to get the, the answers that I don't have. 
quickly as have the resources to get those for you. So make sure that you comment. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you'd like to see next. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.